so to kind of start from a high level, we'll talk about, you know, what is lupus nephritis? And for those that may not know, like your kidneys, they really are, you know, kind of the filter for your body. And so in lupus nephritis, your kidneys may not function properly to remove the waste from your blood and really control the fluids within your body. Um, the the unfortunate reality with lupus is that up to 50% of people with lupus will go on to experience lupus nephritis. And we know that there are some delays in diagnosing lupus and about one in three adults diagnosed with lupus are also diagnosed with lupus nephritis at their time of, of diagnosis. Women are have the disease more common, though if a man does get it, it can often be more severe. And then in terms of prevalence um, across racial and ethnic groups, we know that people of African and Asian descent, Hispanics, Latinos, and Native people, they are more likely than non-Hispanic white people to develop lupus nephritis. Above all, though, um, we know with lupus, you know, a, a person may, you know, may feel pain. They can understand their brain fog. They can see rashes. Um, but lupus nephritis, it can really be silent and it is serious. And so you may not notice like the signs of kidney damage. And but with routine urine and blood tests, your doctor can. And so really, that's why one of the key messages I wanted to be here today and share, um, it's staying on top of regular doctor appointments and lab testing is so important to you.